Sekiro's side story is a sinister manga based on a hit video game. Sekiro Shadow Die Twice was one of the most successful video games of 2019, so in 2020, we had the manga Sekiro's side story, Hanbi the Undying. The manga opens with war and power-hungry leaders in the Sekoko period of Japan. If you look at the real history of Japan at this time, it's a one of much fighting and bloodshed, but the story here is fictionalized. Ishan Hashina is a warlord creating a new clan, and after defeating the opposing general, he demands a soldier for the losing side commit seppuku. The soldier replies that I cannot do, so Ishan Hashina cuts the man down himself and leaves the body there, but the soldiers and continues to move. He's still alive. Hanbi has a curse. Has a curse. Or some will say a blessing that he can die as he walks near a village years later, looking like a frail old man with a sword. A young man tells him to leave the village. When Hanbi doesn't, the young man cuts him into him and is shocked when Hanbi just keeping keep on going. The village is having a series of troubles, including people from disappearing when they go into the nearby woods. Hanbi just might be the person that needs to help them. As something based on the video game, it will probably be the most interest to people who are already fans of Sekiro. The time jumps run a bit in the manga, but it's confusing at parts. The artwork for the story, given a very sinister cast, it has a dark feeling almost catastrophic at times, which fits well with the fighting and war in the story. There are a fair amount of action sequences, and the cruelty of humanity is often on display. As one character notes, power is everything if you want 100 years pass, and power is no longer measured in sword skills. The fact that the word is designed so that whatever power can take what you can want to not change.